Hello, Red Buddies. This is Redbot from Red Guides, showing off two things. Mule Assist, an all-class macro for EverQuest, and MQ2 Mule, an interface to configure that macro. Used together, they end up feeling like they're part of EverQuest, and configuring a character feels natural. Here I am adding a spell to my Druid's buff routine. I can also add a spell by right-clicking and getting the full spell menu. I can also click and drag right from a spellbook. I can click and drag something from my hotkeys. It's pretty much like Windows. If it makes sense to click and drag something, it's probably going to work. Uh, here I am clicking and dragging from my inventory. My chest piece has a buff on it, so I'll put it in my buffs and it works. If you're forgetful like a lot of us older folks at Red Guides, it's nice to have a reminder of what spells do. Right click on a spell and you can pull up the Lucy page with an in-game browser. Now not everyone makes conditionals for their tunes, and that's fine, they're not required. But this conditional builder with a dynamic list of TLOs sure makes it easier. My personal favorite feature is this remote view, which is a great way to keep an eye on your group. Click remote and jiggle this window a bit, it helps if all tunes are on your main display and you get this real-time picture-in-picture bar of your group. Wave hello, everyone! If you're familiar with Kiss Assist, you'll recognize this. It's a raw INI view, just like you're used to editing in Notepad. This is because Mule Assist is a fork of the classic Kiss Assist 10, with a lot of shine and polish added on. If you've never used Kiss Assist, you should watch our Kiss Assist video or read a guide real quick to understand some fundamentals. Links are in the description. So you can edit this raw INI file just like you would on Notepad. Click Save and then go over here to UI and click Reload. And you're all set. The easiest way to get started is to import someone else's character configuration, which we also call an INI on the website. The first step is to load MQ2 Mule, and you do that by typing slash plugin MQ2 Mule load. It will auto load in the future. If you close your Mule window, you can make it reappear with slash Mule show. The advantage to importing someone's configuration is that you can be lazy and don't have to make your own. There are also some great tools here that make tweaking a configuration really easy. So the first step is to go to Red Guides, click on Resources, and head to the Mule Assist INI library. That's over on the left here. And use this drop down to find your class. I'm gonna go with Druid. That's what I'm using. Now let's scroll down, see our options. Uh, here's one from Vorpal Chicken. It's 110. My Druid's only 105, but I'll show you why that's not a problem. I'm gonna choose, yeah, it's a higher level, but that's okay. So I'm gonna copy the INI. Now I'm gonna open a notepad and I'm just gonna paste it in, Control V to paste. And now I'll save this file on my desktop. And desktop is the easiest place to find stuff, I think, so that's where I like to save it. And I'm gonna call it import.ini. Okay, the hard part is done. Now we can go back in game. Hooray! On the Mule Assist window, I'm gonna click the import button. Now I'm gonna go to my desktop, that's under C, users, that's me. Um, then desktop, right there. And I called it import INI, so there it is. Click OK, and boom. So you can see that it's been populated. Uh, tabs that are green and that are not blinking, that means everything's fine. They're turned on, it's all working. So my AE, my aggro, those are all good. Certain tabs are blinking, like buffs over here. Let's see what the problem is. The first spell, there's an alert, so let's see what's wrong there. Okay, I don't, I'm not high enough level. So that's fine. We can downgrade Arcanite Blessing to Shield Sun Blessing with a single click. So let's go ahead and click the downgrade button. Okay, we're all set. Next one, we'll do the same thing. We'll downgrade Savage Growth to Ferocious Growth. So yeah, because this was a higher level uh, configuration, I just need to downgrade it for my character. If you'd like to see a list of all the downgrades in the entire tab, just click this downgrades button. It will also work the opposite direction with upgrades. Click save when you're done working on a tab to keep your changes. We also need to set our gems. So click down here for gem manager. 
and then it's the same method as the routine. You right click and see if there's any upgrades or downgrades you need to make. And if the gems look good, then you're ready. Click Mem Spells, then click Save Gems, and you're all set. One last cool thing about importing, MQ2 Mule is also compatible with Kiss Assist and outdated Kiss Assist INI files. And at the time of this recording, there are over 800 of those. So feel free to import Kiss Assist INIs into Mule Assist using MQ2 Mule. Okay, so let's say I want to build a condition for skin to seedlings. And I do. I only want to cast it when my mana is above 40%. Only then, never any other time. Um, and I also only want to cast it on my main assist. So 99, that's correct. I'm going to add a bar here, MA. Now conditions, a lot of people get scared by conditions. Make sure your conditions are on. But you don't have to be scared by conditions because EQ Mule has made a visual condition builder, which in this thing is really cool. So um, you can hover over these things. It'll tell you what it means. So that's or. What do those mean, the two ampersands? It means and. So you just have little helpers like that all around. So skin to seedlings, and if you wanna see real helping, I'm gonna do this almost entirely with my mouse. So I wanna make sure I only cast it when my mana is above 40%. So I'm gonna do me, cause that's what it has to do with <clears throat> my character. Then after I right click me, there's this pops up and I have all these options. Usually I'd have to like go look these up, but now they're all right here in a beautiful window. So percent mana. Uh, greater than, okay, I can't do it all with my mouse. I have to write 40, but there you go, 40. Hit apply and there you go. And as you can see, it's parsing in real time. It says 100 here because I have 100 mana. <clears throat> so I can make sure that, and just to prove it here, let me cast a couple spells real quick. Okay, so you can see it's parsing in real time. I have 97% mana. So we know this condition works. And it's great to be able to test your conditions before you get out in the wild <clears throat> and have to, you know, wipe your group because your condition's off. So there, you are now an expert at conditions. Let's make a configuration from scratch. Here's my Druid's buff routine. So right now it's blank. I'm going to turn buffs on. So it's green. So it's ready for the buffs. I'm also going to turn conditions on because I'm going to do a couple conditions. So first thing, let's get Shieldstone Blessing in here. I want this to go on my entire group, so I'm gonna, not going to add any conditions. Next up, let's add Swarm of Fireflies, and I only want that on my tank, so I'll do Pipe MA. That means Main Assist, also known as my tank. Uh, let's speed this up. It's going to take a while. There's 14 spells here. Uh, I save early and often, just to be careful. This one needs a condition, so I'll write that one out real quick. Now for some of these, I'm gonna do pipe ME. That just means self only. There are certain you know, buffs I only wanna cast on me and not my whole group. It's a good idea to check your work using the raw tab, uh, especially if you have done Kiss Assist configurations before. This one needs a little conditional, but that TLO dropdown makes everything so easy. I love it. Just a couple more spells to add and we are good. Now let's see what Mule Assist can do. I have a full group configured and ready to go. So the first step is to make some hot buttons. So there's a hot button bar, you just click that and select the buttons you want. This is my tank, so I'm gonna choose puller tank right here. So there's my puller tank button. I'm also gonna do a pause button, because that's very handy. I can pause mule assist and do something and then unpause it. I'm also gonna do chase on, that's when you're dungeon crawling and want to follow your main assist and a chase off button. Okay, so I have those all set up. Now I'm going to do it for each of my other characters. So here's my rogue. I'm going to do assist. And I'm also going to do pause like the other one and my chase buttons as well. Now when I'm ready to start, 
I just press that MA button, that assist button, on all of my characters. One thing I'd like to point out with the main assist button is that it's going to assist your group leader. It's not going to care who you target, it's only going to care about your group leader. So make sure you set your tank or your main assist as the group leader. If you don't want to press buttons and you want to go old school, you can also just type slash Mac Mule Assist on each character and that works too. All right, so let's start. I have everybody mule assisting my tank. And my tank, I'm gonna put on pause right here so I can go pull. Um, look, I didn't spend a lot of time on these configurations. I just mostly used Warple Chickens uh, configurations I found on the website. I tweaked them for maybe, you know, two minutes each, nothing fancy. I'm just gonna do a pull here. Uh, I've been doing single pulls. I wanna see what mule assist can handle. So I'm just gonna run around and grab a few Okay, well, I guess I got three. That should be, okay, I guess four and, okay, my bard is running out there for some reason. Uh, okay, whatever, here we go. Uh, I think I have six mobs, maybe five. And we're starting, I unpaused and let's fight. My bard is doing a great job of keeping everybody mez. It looks like my rogue hit a crit and took somebody down already. Uh, we're down to five mobs. Make that four. Oh, no, three. Dang, okay, this is going fast. Uh, that bard is doing really well. I, I don't know why the bard ran out at first. I'll have to tweak that later, but whatever, it worked. Uh, two mobs left. Everybody's full health. Nearly full mana. I think we got this. One mob. Yeah. Okay, so I did a big pull. I thought maybe we'd wipe, but no. Mule Assist handled, handled it wonderfully. Congratulations to EQ Mule, everyone who worked on Mule Assist, everybody who's helped test MQ2 Mule, Mule Assist, or even Kiss Assist. Uh, just take a bow. This has been really great work, and I really appreciate it. And I think the community will too. So have fun, everybody. Links are in the description. Like, subscribe, etc.